Uh, welcome to the second part of the Company Profile app uh, in Android. Uh, we actually continue from the uh, first uh, tutorial where we are going to explain the layout of this application. We talk about uh, the drawable and also we talk about the DB file, which is why it sits it right in the access folder. Now we'll be looking at the Java classes. We'll be talking about uh, the about session, the company profile, the contact, the database helper. And also the portfolio product and service. Let's quickly look at the about session. Uh, this actually, uh, let's look at the keyboard. Uh, it's well, we actually important the Android view, the widget button, the app activity, the about extension activity, where we declare a button, which is a back button. Now the uncreate method is going to call on the super create, save the instant state. We're going to set the content view to the layout about. Now we're going to start share the back. Call on the ID BTM back. Notice there's always an ID BTM back in this XML. We set an unclick listener to this uh, button and we call on the finish method class to go back to the next uh, or to the previous activity. Let's look at the complete profile app. Okay. The imports here we import the widget or widget uh, functionality. We also import then the app activity and the content intent. More intent here, where we have uh, the class complete profile app extend activity. Uh, we declared uh, some fields here the button about the button contact, the button portfolio. Uh, we have an create method where we call on to concrete, save it to state. Uh, we set this content view to the complete app XML. Now we're going to pass in some stuff to this button. The first button is the about, we call on this ID. You know, Contact, we get this ID, and for portfolio, we find it in view by ID. Okay, now we're going to set on the this now to this ID. The button about, uh, now we're going to call an intent, which is call on the company profile app, which is this particular class, going straight to the about class. So this is going to call on the about class, we're going to stack the activity of the about. Uh, the same thing goes for the button contact, uh, where it's going to call on the contact class, where it's going to start the activity, okay? And also, for the portfolio, you know, you going to call on the portfolio class and going to start the activity, uh, the about, based on the about class, you know. Now, uh, we're going to look at the, okay, there's the contact uh, Java class. Uh, we have some Fields been declared. Let's look at the import. What well, the stuff we imported? Uh, the button, the activity, and the intent. You know, we're familiar with that. Uh, we have the field back, official, the telephone, FB for Facebook, CWIT for Twitter, U for YouTube, A for LinkedIn, LOC for location, and email. Right? Now we're going to set those strings. The link of issue is going to be the uh, URL to the link. Uh, for the telephone, uh, we have uh, the telephone session. You know, you're actually going to assign uh, some values to this. You're going to assign for the email as well. Uh, for the Facebook, for the Twitter, and for the YouTube, you can modify this as you want. For the LinkedIn, and for the Google Maps, you must actually get a good, uh, a good uh, link to the uh, particular uh, map or location you're trying to uh, get on Google Maps. Now let's look at the create statement, uh, method rather, where call on super create, save as the state, you all know that. Get the layout contact, XML. Now these are views we declare up here. We're going to get this ID, PTM for back. Official is going to be PTM web. Telephone is going to be BTM contact. All this ID will have been declared in those XMLs. Now we're going back to the XML session so that I would like you to go. Well, if you're finding it so difficult to understand, you can still scroll back to some XML and get the, uh, the IDs of these particular uh, fields we're trying to associate here. This for the Facebook, the Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, location, and for email. Now we're going to set on click listener to each one of them. This for the back, we call on the finish method to get back to email, we're going to set an on-click listener to each also. So what we're going to do, we're going to get, cut the hit. 
content, we set the type to the plain text, we're going to put some extras uh, based on the internet, extra mail, and the link email. We're going to start an activity uh, with the internet where we're going to hold, choose choice of app to send email. So it is going to be a, an explicit intent where it's going to actually call for an application that's going to actually handle this uh, uh, click. Now, we are for the official, okay? Uh, this is going to pass the URI to a web uh, portal or a web browser where you based on the link of issue uh, being declared over here, okay? So it's going to start the activity and it's going to keep, uh, like push this uh, request to the particular browser to, to carry it out. The same thing goes for the Facebook, okay? You get to pass the URI, the link has been declared it up there, you going to start this activity. Likewise for the Twitter, you know, you're going to pass the URI. Uh, for YouTube also, you're going to pass the URI for the calling or uh, for the listing application. For LinkedIn as well, you're going to pass the URI. Uh, now for the telephone, you're going to pass the URI based on the telephone number, which is going to uh, definitely uh, the input telephone uh, uh, application in your device is going to catch this uh, intent and it's going to actually make this uh, telephone call. Uh, this is, on click this now to be set to the location where we're going to pass the URI based on the link map, definitely Google Maps in your, if you have Google Maps in your application or uh, in your device, so that it's going to actually listen for this particular intent and you're going to pick it up from there. So, I hope that is very clear. Let's look at the portfolio uh, where we took about we imported the tab post where we're going to have some tab underneath and the on tab chain list. There. We extend tab activity where we implement on tab chain list. There, you know, so we're going to declare the tab host and the resources uh, for the class tab host and the resources. Operate method where we're going to call on the portfolio. Now the rest we're going to get the resources. The same thing goes for the tab host. Okay, we're going to get the tab spec. The spec product and for the spec services. Now, for the tab, also we're going to do to set on tab chain list. So, when we click on the tab, going to change what going to change when you click on it. The tab is going to call on the new tab uh, spec, tab one. Set as an indicator, get the resources. We're going to get the drawable of the drawable product. Set the content as well, call the intent of this uh, particular class, which is the product class. And also, they add the tab to the spec product. The same thing goes for services, it doesn't mean that way, it doesn't mean that way. Let's start. Now, there's a four uh, loop where the counter value y is equal to zero. Now, the same counter, if it's less than the tab host, whereby you get the tab widget, uh, and also the get child count, if it's less than this. So, this is going to actually come back in a little bit more. And you're going to add one to the so that it's not going to be an infinite loop. Okay, so if this is true, the tab is going to get the tab widget, it's going to get the child at the particular uh, counter, it's going to set the background drawable based on this uh, ID, you know, get its resources. You know. That is what that's going to do. So else, you know, it's going to, get it, it's going to set the current tab to zero, whereby it's going to be zero instead of one, two, three, four, based on the ID, now it's going to be zero. No, it's going to set this to zero. Okay. Now uh, we have on tab changed method where we also have a for loop. But this time it's going to be the tab host. It's going to get the tab widget, get the child count or so, and also add one to it for each loop. Okay. If it's true, the tab host is going to get the tab widget, get the child based on the uh, ID passed in. I'm going to set the background drawable and also do some get these resources and get the drawable file. So, if not, it's going to return the get tab widget without, uh, and also the get child is on the tab host. Now, it's not going to use this counter. It's going to get the correct tab, which is the particular tab, so that it's going to set it to focus. So, set the background drawable, get these resources. Okay, that's that. Uh, let's look at the products. Uh, now we're going to have the product where it's activity. There's a 
the next product. And now we go the string, which is the title, the description, the image, and the category. The back button, which you know, and the dialog, our spinner. Now this is going to call on the product. Let's look at the product adapter class, which extends the base adapter. We have the private uh, field layout and header. Even the public method called public adapter, where we have the context as a parameter. We're going to pass the NF data to the data data from the context. There's a get count, which we call the title length. There's an object, get item, which passes in the parameter position, which we call the position. The same thing goes for the get item ID, the position. The get view now takes two parameters the position, the convert view, and the appearance. Now, the view order. Okay. Uh, thank you. Now, if the convert uh, the order, you're going to call on the text size of products. Also, call on the text cast products and the image products. Set the text view and the image to its uh, corresponding value. Else, the order is going to convert the view and get it tagged. And uh, the string URI is going to pass the image of the particular uh, product. the internet permission, the access network state, and the call phone, which is going to be calling the minimum SDK 7 and the target SDK version 15. Let's look at some activities that will actually be cleared, incorporate those activities in it. We have the launch activity, uh, which is the main activity. That's fine. Now, we're going to prepare the portfolio, the products, the service, the about, the content class. Uh, and also assign their team corresponding to no type of no type of today. Oh, these activities are very important in the management of the data and the and also this prevention. Okay, I would like to launch this in my application later so that we'll be able to see how this application journey flows. You know, it's been a long journey right from the beginning. And I'll also upload the source code to my GitHub account, which is a robust application. Uh, whereby we talk about the database helper as well. Okay, I've forgotten to actually look at the, the database helper company uh, where we assign uh, the table name to be product, the table row, table product. Okay, uh, we did some database helper uh, company. We pass in the context, you know, uh, we create an empty database on the system and we write it with your own database. So this is where we check for the database if it exists. So we're going to read it and close it. And also toast to, uh, to the screen if the database is actually uh, visible or uh, there's an error copy in it. You know. We're going to check the database as well here. You know, we'll call on the SPL like database. Okay. Let's try and catch method uh, to get the DB pass and the DB name. Okay. Uh, this time we're going to copy the database, so it's going to do an input and output and make sure that the image not going to be found absent. Okay. Uh, we're going to open up the database and do all the inspection. It's on the part of the name. You know, we have to open it up. Okay. This is when we close this up, close the database. Uh, we're going to create method whereby we only pass the parameter db on the SQLIT class. And also on upgrade. As an array list to ask the database of the create the cost of using the cost of, okay, the table rule ID product, like the product, the description product, okay. Uh, we have also where we get all data service where we have the database of the create the cost as well, okay. And now we have an array list where we add the cost of like get long, the get string for each uh, ID. That's fine. Uh, I would like to launch this in my journey motion emulator or oh, an Android emulator. Uh, I'm not using journey motion this time. Okay. Right, it's online.
right, uh, you should notice the content profile app, the image, the background, uh, the apparatus session, the portfolio, the candidates, and also uh, well, well, we, have, we have the full set, copyright 2016 in our studios. So let's look at the about us session. You click on it, uh, it should take us to the about session. Okay, we have the about us, we have the vision and the mission statement, uh, the copyright system, the back button. Activity. For the portfolio, let's look at the portfolio. What, what do we have in our portfolio? Okay. Uh, this is actually really the data from the database. Let's get that database. Okay. It's actually telling us to wait for some. So we have the tab. I talked about tab hosts we created. The two tab hosts. So let it read the data. Okay. So for each product, it comes up. Comes up in a list uh, view. Okay, then and the logo for each of the products. You click on one of these, uh, will actually give us details of the product, uh, the category, the title, the description you know, of, of each product. You know, so the scroll view for this. You, know. you can see how slick it is. So click it right. Service, the other tab. Now let's look at what is actually my inside here. You also read the data from the from SQLite database. Okay, we got the services. All right, uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, let's go back and uh, let's look at one more uh, menu, which is the contact. The address, the contact, where we this on click of this is going to call on the uh, device uh, phone uh, dialer, the email, the official website, getting social on Facebook, others on Twitter, others on LinkedIn, subscribe on YouTube, our location going to call on Google Maps. This is very okay, you know, very presentable as a complete of application in Android. Thank you very, very much for listening. And hanging out with me throughout this uh, tutorial. I hope you've got to one or two things from this application. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time.